Hello guys and girls, so episode one of this series. So when I made the jump from being a credible, successful personal trainer into a Herbalife distributor, a lot of people raised some eyebrows, but I think at first they just assumed that I was just trying to make a little bit of extra money on the side. So after six months when I went full time with Herbalife and stopped personal training, people were almost like, what's he done? He's been sold to the to the devil. He's joined the cult. Why has he done that? He had such a successful business. And a lot of people did say this to me and I was just, I, I was, it, what it did for me was it made me realize that I needed to then educate more people on, on not just why I've done it, but what it actually is. Because for me, it was better. So why wouldn't I then put more time into it? And I want to use this video as part one of the series just to explain on why I think it's better. So we're gonna do personal trainer versus Herbalife for three episodes. Episode one is gonna be on results and impact and how you can do make a better, help people get better results and have a bigger impact through Herbalife versus personal training, in my opinion, from my own story. Um, and also, by the way guys, this isn't like a, this is the only way, it's just my opinion. Um, second video is gonna be on how it's, how it's exchanging time for money versus leverage which obviously is essential to understand that in business um, in order for things to keep growing. Because that's what I found my problem was I, I reached my limit. That's for the next video. And then the third video is on, I actually helped a lot of clients become personal trainers. Now that was great because then they're helping people, right? But as a business, in Herbalife we do the same. We teach people to get a result and then we help them to teach other people. That then helps that person to make an income and that increases the, the, the impact you're having on, on the community by helping more people, right? But when you do it as a personal trainer, you lose that business then, because as a business, you lose that business. And that's another video I wanna talk about as well, how helping someone get a result sometimes will lose you that person as a PT because that person then doesn't need you anymore. So as a business, that's inefficient. Whereas with Herbalife, you teach someone they then teach others and it's just a, a chain of who more who else can we help based on getting somebody a result and one person to one person that result then becomes hundreds and thousands through a clever system a clever model and amazing products okay so episode number one then results and impact guys okay so i spent five years as a personal trainer um, at first, no idea what I was doing. I just enjoyed going to the gym and I didn't want to do anything else. I didn't really have a desire to have a job. I spent a little bit of time working as a job as a football coach and in home base and I didn't really enjoy either of them. I didn't like the aspect of, of exchanging time for money. Um, but for me, there was nothing else because I liked going to the gym and I thought if I can just spend my time in the gym, I'll have a lot of fun doing it. So I decided to get qualified as a PT after I finished at university um, and just started but I had no business sense. I was a self-employed personal trainer at Pure Gym from day one, but I didn't really understand what to do, how to build a clientele, how to give my clients that I did get value. So for me, the first year was massively like the trial year. Uh, but in that time, I managed to start helping people because I was just a positive person in the gym on my own little journey. And I think I managed to inspire other people to, to join me. Um, and they, I was just charging like, not a lot of money to these people, I was charging below the average rate as a personal trainer, uh, but I was getting people in the door, and for me that was a, a move in the right direction. But through time, I started to understand that in order for me to bring more value to my clients and to build a better business as a personal trainer, I needed to become more valuable. So I needed to go on courses, I needed to become better. So that's what I did, and I did that for a good amount of time. Um, started to go to seminars, started to read books, started to do online courses. And through time, I like doubled my hourly rate, if not more, um, to the point where I was charging more than anybody else in the area, and my diary was always full. Um, and then I went through a transition of becoming like an online personal trainer and doing a bit of both, which is gonna be the next part of the series on, on why what I'm doing now is better than online PT as well. Um, but for now, I just wanna talk about the results and impact. So in that five years, I was obviously positively impacting people, helping people with their, with their training, um, with their nutrition as best as I could, and I was helping people get results, okay? But what I did find was that not every client would get the same result. Even though they would have me, they would have the nutritional support, 
other clients did better than others and that was just down to their adherence to the to the nutrition protocol predominantly okay so most of my clients would get the same kind of level of training yes some would train harder than others but what i found sometimes was that even the clients who wasn't even training that hard compared to my super try harders you know they were getting better results sometimes and i was like this is interesting so nutrition is obviously key um and that just started to make you make me think I wonder if there's a, like a better way to do this. So again, I, I went on lots of nutrition courses and I made that the focus because I knew that that was going to get people better results and that was my goal. And this is way before the idea of Herbalife even really entered my frame of mind. Um, but what I realised was I was limited on the amount of people that I could help because obviously there's only so many hours in the day. Um, and as I started to launch my online personal training business, I needed to, to save some time to do that as well. I needed to be setting the example so I was training myself so all of a sudden I'm limited to how many clients I can help and I like to try to get clients in when I did train them more than once a week because that was going to help them get a better result. So if you think how many people can you impact if you're doing that, let's say you're doing clients set two or three times a week, you're only going to be able to, be able to help between 10 and 15, maybe 20 clients at tops. But the more people you bring in, the more your service offering will drop because you've got to give these people support outside of the gym as well. You know, So I found that I was, in, I was capped on the amount of people that I can actually impact and obviously the income that I could make from that as well because there's only so many clients I'm helping, you know. So also it's a very niche, um, it's a niche thing to do. Personal training, not everybody can afford it, it's quite expensive. I was charging £45 for an hour, so if you imagine two sessions a week, £90 a week, that's going to be £360 a month. Not everybody has that available to, to invest in personal training and then you've got to pay for your gym membership, your food on top of that, all these things add up, okay? So it isn't, not, it isn't for everybody. So that again was something that made me think there's got to be a better way for me to help more people that's more affordable, that opens and widens the marketplace. And not everybody really wants to be beasted in a session. So that for me was a, 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 a wake up Thing. I realised that the world is hurting, more people need help, yet I'm only really helping people who want to train super hard, who want to do be like really disciplined with their diet, whereas the marketplace is huge and people just want to make small steps towards being better and that's why I open my eyes into other things, okay? So, um, so for me, in one year, so if you imagine the, the most people I was impacting at one point would be 15 people one to one. 300 people now in Herbalife guys are being impacted and I would say getting better results and not only that we're helping more people different people like for example my mum one of my best Herbalife customers didn't want to do personal training she couldn't afford it she didn't want to do it um she didn't had no desire to be beasting in the gym she didn't want to follow the strict diet protocols she just wanted to get a bit better and she wanted to do, do it in a way that was easy for her and I've just found that for a simple system and through giving people simple advice, you can help more people. So for me, absolute game changer that was. And people are getting better results because they're not only starting their day with a high protein smoothie, high in vitamins and minerals, high in fiber. It's a positive start. To, it's a positive movement. And just one little thing can change the direction of your whole day. And we found by giving people a, a solid morning routine, it's completely changed their, their results massively. So, and even if you compare it to a personal training client, one or two sessions a week, if that isn't supported with the right nutritional protocol that they're consistent with, a client just being consistent on their diet will outdo someone who's training hard in the gym, which you'll see time and time again because so many people train hard, but year on year they look exactly the same because their diet isn't on point. So we've just created a clever system whereby more people can do it because not everybody, like I've said, wants to be seated in the gym and not everybody can afford to pay for a personal trainer. Whereas this is actually saving people money using our nutritional programs, saving them money, giving them better nutrition, giving them better results, and more people can do it. The, the market is huge because ev everybody can do this, right? Everybody has breakfast, everybody eats food at some point. Swap what you're having, have something better, that's, that's, better more, that's less expensive, that gives you more nutrition, and all of a sudden, we're helping more people. So for me, that really excited me because I, the whole goal for me from day one was impact, help other people, be more. That's what my brand's all about. Help people to be more, inspire others, motivate others. And for me, this, the way this company is set up and the, the products, the whole support system, it opened up a doorway for me to be able to really run and help more people and impact more people in a, in a more excited way versus just doing day-to-day -day hourly rate stuff 
which is, was great. I loved it. I loved my clients, but there was so much more out there to achieve. So hopefully that's given you some value. I've reached the 10 minute cap in just five seconds. So I'm going to end it here and um, I'll see you in the next video.